back at it again and um if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck it's probably a duck something fishy is going on here uh we we, we got to talk about this we, we 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 really have to talk about this and you know it's a shame because they have lied to us so much that whenever they tell us something now you know we all question it Maybe what was said is true. Maybe it isn't. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's dive in. Fox News alert. America is apparently facing a national security threat from Russia that's so terrifying that our own government said they couldn't tell us what it is. This vague threat started this morning. Primetime producers were getting alerts on their phones, each alert more ominous. But just as vague. Congress said there was a threat, but we couldn't tell how serious it was, and neither could anyone else. There's really no cause for panic or alarm around this particular piece of intelligence. Uh, I'm concerned. It's serious. That's all I can say right now. This is a serious issue. There are many serious issues that we undertake all the time. Uh, but there's no need to panic. Uh, this is not an immediate crisis. This is one more thing to worry about in terms of Vladimir Putin and his attack on democracy and freedom. Okay, this all started when the chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Republican Mike Turner, released a statement saying this, quote, Today, the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence has made available to all members of Congress information concerning a serious national security threat. I am requesting President Biden declassify all information relating to this threat so that Congress can openly discuss the actions necessary to respond to this threat. Primetime doesn't know Mike Turner very well. He's been on our show once, maybe twice. He wants to protect the country. We believe he's a patriot. But I've been in this business for 20 years, and something seemed off. Doesn't the Gang of Eight usually handle big intel announcements? And where's the Speaker of the House, Mike John? And also, when you have Jamie Raskins coming out and saying something, I'm a little inclined to just kind of, like, brush it off. Ignore it, right? You know, just saying. Well, let's continue. Watson, who still hasn't ever done our show for some reason, well, he runs to the microphone and tells Americans not to panic. I want to assure the American people there is no need for public alarm. We are going to work together to address this matter as we do all sensitive matters that are classified. So one mic says very serious national security threat that Biden has to declassify. And then a more powerful mic says nothing to be alarmed about, we'll handle it in private. Democrats are saying it's serious, but it's no need to panic. Oh. I think I'll believe Mike Johnson. That's just me personally, but you know. Uh. Other Democrats saying Putin's attacking our democracy. What's going on here? And then we get the drip, 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 little morsels of info all afternoon. It's something we've known about for a long time. Then it's, it's something we just found out about. Politico reported the intelligence was related to Russia's hypersonic cruise missile that can fly at speeds between Mach 6 and Mach 8. They also speculated that the Russians and North Koreans were joining forces to attack our space capabilities. The media was going crazy. We have new reporting on a cryptic message that the House Intelligence Committee released on social media about a, quote, serious national security threat. What do we know about this? I, cryptic is the right word. We still have more questions than answers at this point. This must be a grave situation for the chair of the Intelligence Committee uh, to make such a bold statement. The threat is related to Russia. It's not that Martians are going to land right now uh, in the U.S., but it is something of concern. All right. Once the media was throttled into an orgy of speculation, the intelligence community leaked to their favorite New York Times reporters, Eric Schmidt and David Sanger, that the intelligence was about Russian nukes. You ready? The new intelligence was serious, said the New York Times. But these Russian nuclear capabilities didn't exist. And they were still under development. And they hadn't been deployed. This information was classified and could not be declassified even though Russia can read the New York Times. But it gets juicier. 
Leaks to the Times also reveal that Russia is developing space-based nukes that could blow up our satellites. But again, Russian space nukes haven't been developed and aren't even in orbit. First, they told us Russians were using World War II-era tanks in Ukraine, and now they've built the Death Star, and we're all going to die. Yeah, I do remember that where when they were talking about Russia was using extremely old tanks and, you know, their their artillery was was super old. Their their their, you know, weaponry was was outdated and all of this stuff. And now all of a sudden, well, they've got nukes that they're going to put in space. Huh? <laughs> but I have my speculation as to why this is going on. We're, we're, we're going to get into that. So stick around. Stick around. Let's continue. Hi. The House Intelligence Committee said this new piece of intelligence was destabilizing. And as this was breaking, Biden's national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, rushed into the briefing room and said, do not not worry about this threat. But more importantly, Congress must fund the Ukraine war. This bipartisan legislation will allow the United States to continue to support the people of Ukraine alongside our allies and partners as they fight every single day to defend their freedom and independence. Can you tell Americans that there's nothing they have to worry about right now in terms of what he describes as a national security threat? Look, I think in a way that question um, is impossible to answer with a straight yes, right? Now, if I were a cynic, I would suspect that Washington, anxious to pass the Ukraine funding, teased out some intelligence as a scare tactic to jam money through. And Politico, also skeptical, writing, quote, it's possible Turner was attempting to raise alarms about Russia's advancements in space as a way of underscoring the need for lawmakers to approve additional aid to Ukraine. Bingo. Ding, 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 ding. That's what I think is actually happening here. You know, it's weird that this information all of a sudden drops when they alleged they allegedly have known about this for a little while now. Allegedly, right? But it's interesting that it drops now after the Senate passed a bill <clears throat> to fund Ukraine and Israel. Uh, a bill that Speaker of the House Mike Johnson said is D-O-A, dead on arrival in the House. Dead on arrival. You don't believe me? Regarding the border, you know, talk about the American people not being listened to. They are crying out to the Biden administration to secure the border. This is not a Republican issue. It's an issue for every single person, and everybody knows it. We know the stories of children being poisoned by fentanyl and cities being overwhelmed by migrant surges. We know House Republicans have shown that we are listening to and, and, and holding the administration accountable for this catastrophe. We're listening to the people. We're taking action to hold Biden accountable. Last night, the House voted to approve articles of impeachment against Secretary Mayorkas. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We had to do that. He has abdicated his responsibility. He's breached the public trust, and he's disregarded the laws Congress has passed. But, but much more has to be done, of course, to secure the border. And what the Senate produced this week is silent on that issue. Senator McConnell and I have spoken about this in frank sessions, and let me be clear here again this morning. The Republican-led House will not be jammed or forced into passing a foreign aid bill that was opposed by most Republican senators and does nothing to secure our own border. It's time for Washington to start showing some Love to Americans. On Valentine's Day, this is a good day to point this out. You need to listen to the American people and their needs and take action. And that's why House leadership will continue to govern with Americans' interests at heart. Yeah. So when Mike Johnson says, hey, yo, this bill to send more money over there is dead on arrival. It's not happening. I'm not even bringing it to the floor for a vote. I am in charge of that. I'm not even bringing it to a vote. That, that 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 is going nowhere. Now all of a sudden we get this intelligence. Russians putting nukes in space. Hmm. Interesting. Y'all remember? Y'all remember when the left made fun of Donald Trump for the Space Force? <laughs> 
you know, I, listen, I am, I am loving politics. I, I am just loving this, especially since I'm on the right side of things. Because, like, I'm just watching all of this stuff play out the way that Trump and other true Republicans always said it was. Right? Trump was proven right. Once again, like if this intelligence is true, Trump was proven right, right. Once again, once again, when they laughed at him for it, because now they want us to believe that there's a, a, a threat out in space, but they laughed at Trump when he initiated the space force. Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But Washington's rusty. Not everybody got the memo. Democrat Congressman Jim Hines, who's on the Intel Committee, said the threat is not going to ruin your Thursday. Fox's Jackie Heinrich just reported that this isn't a weapon that would attack humans. Although, if our satellites are destroyed, my GPS dies and I'll probably drive into a lake. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking this threat lightly. I'm sure Russians are working on space weapons. It's just ironic that the same people who mock Trump for Space Force are now hysterical over Russia's space force. It's not even in orbit. Now, if Russia really was planning on putting a nuclear missile into space, that would violate the 1967 Outer Space Treaty and could theoretically lead to a major escalation. Something about today's news cycle, though, just seems deliberate. Someone played a game of Mad Libs and came up with Russia nukes space. On the same day, Kamala Harris is flying to the Munich Security Summit, where our NATO allies will be rallying to defend Ukraine from Vlad. Hope I'm wrong. I hope all of our politicians and security officials are operating in good faith. But we've been deceived into raiding the Treasury for foreign adventures before. Americans are a noble people. If you can persuade us with honesty and logic, we'll spend money overseas in order to protect our interests. But don't disrespect us and trick us into writing more checks. Washington's been caught way too many times playing games. And they'll have to do better than this. Hey, sh Facts. <clears throat> Facts. Now, um, I, I do agree with Jesse. And that's why I wanted to play that clip, because I couldn't have said any of that any better myself, right? Couldn't have said it any better. This is all really weird timing. Really weird, you know? Especially when you consider the fact that they had lied to us before. They've lied that Russia, Russia, Russia was a lie. They sat there and told us, Russia, 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 Russia collusion, Russia, Russia, Russia. We got to investigate. Oh, we, we, we got evidence. They had nothing. They had nothing. Now, could this one be, you know, um, the case of the boy, cry, the boy who cried wolf? They've lied to us so many times that now we ignore them and there's actually a potential threat. Yeah, could be. But that's their own fault. That is their own fault. And, uh, you know, it, 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 it's honestly amazing to watch this all play out because I do believe on the other side of all of this, we will be a better and a much stronger nation. I truly do believe that. I truly do believe that, especially once we get rid of all of these rhinos and establishment puppets, right? Because now they're getting exposed. Now they're getting exposed. If, if, if this turns out to be another fake made up instance, oh my goodness. <laughs> and you know, the, the, the track record is, you know, six to seven months later, we find out the truth. And you know what that lines up with? Right before an election, we find out, oh, y'all lied to us again. Well, I'll be darned. And y'all <laughs> and y'all always accuse Trump of lying. When in reality, he's just been speaking the truth this whole time. You know, but what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about this? Um, I, obviously, like I said, I do think this does has the potential to be true. I'm sure Russia is working on, you know, some crazy Thing, right maybe it is a space nuke i don't know but still you know i i i, I do believe yeah there, there, there probably is some truth to that but it's not even operational so 
What are we talking about here? I don't know. And then why bring that out into the public? It's not even in orbit. As far as we know. So why bring that out to the public? You know, it's just, just crazy. So y'all let me know your thoughts, your opinions on this in the comment section. I personally think it's um, it's a push to garner more support to send more money over to Ukraine because that support is going down the toilet and is going down the toilet fast. Uh, so that's what I think this is. But of course, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I acknowledge that. I could be wrong about any of this. So yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.